We're pleased to be joined now by Georgia head coach Kirby Smart. So Kirby, let's start with that first round and those tackles almost bookended the first round of the draft, much like they did your offensive line. What are those two teams, the Giants and the Titans, getting in those two tackles? Some big grown men. I tell you what, I'm going to miss those two guys. When you walk out to practice every day and you get to watch those guys and see those guys grow, uh, they're a special breed. Andrew and Isaiah were great for our program, played in a lot of big football games, uh, learned from Isaiah Wynn, and uh, did a tremendous job for the university. You know, we've heard a lot of talk about what NFL teams think of Jake Fromm and what his ceiling is and what his potential is as a pro quarterback. How do you see him fitting into a pro scheme? Is he ultimately a guy that can be a starter at the pro level? Is he a career backup type guy? Oh, absolutely, he could be a starter. He's proven that at the highest level. You see the 15 guys picked out of the SEC in that conference, in our conference, where he just went against all those guys. And he won a lot of football games against a lot of that competition and did a tremendous job. So he's going to make somebody a mighty fine starter. The best thing about Jake is I promise you, he's not sitting there worried tonight. He knows God's got a great plan for him, and he's looking forward to it. Hey, Kirby, you, you've been around the SEC, obviously, for a long time, and, and you've had a chance to see different programs grow, and, and now you became a head coach, and you're off to such a great start. What, what are the key formulas to developing a program that has staying power, which you're doing? Like, if you're looking at the pillars of whether it's Alabama or Georgia or LSU, what do you, what do you think the pillars are to have long-term success uh, in that conference? Well, the first thing you better have is a tremendous recruiting base. You know, you, you can't just uh, go out and get players to travel from all over the country to come to your place. You better have a good five-hour radius, uh, be near some metropolitan area like we are with Atlanta. Very fortunate that our recruiting base was, like even last night, you saw evidence of all kinds of kids that we all recruited uh, getting picked. Um, you better have a great administration that will support you and give you the things you need to compete at the highest level uh, and a tremendous fan base. Um, and we're very fortunate in Georgia to have all three of those. You know, we, we, we talked last night a lot about how the NFL game seems to be changing and, and mimicking more and more the college game. In, in your mind, when it comes to watching the scheme of the college game with tempo and spread and, and, and RPO game, uh, what in your mind are the keys to stopping college offenses uh, today to have a, a successful defense? Well, it starts with the players. Um, number one, you got to be able to give them uh, something they can execute. You got to be able to give teams negative plays. You look at the course of college football over the last three to four years, the teams that can get people behind the sticks are the ones that are successful. But make no bones about it. When you look at the National Football League, it is a throwing game. That's evidence last night of all the receivers picked and the lack of running backs picked. And then you look at the first back that was taken, the kid that was taken over DeAndre Swift. I mean, the number of catches he had, and they used him like a wideout. And I certainly think DeAndre is as good a wideout out of the backfield as anybody, but he can also carry the rock and does a great job of doing it. So the two, two, two differences are college football, they still try to run the ball. Pro football, it's pass first, rush the passer first. Makes it a very distinct league. Coach, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned uh, DeAndre Swift. I thought he would be the first running back off the board. Surprised that he's still there for day two. Tell me, what makes DeAndre Swift such a special running back? Well, first of all, he's a special person because he's an unbelievable leader. I mean, this kid was the heart and soul of our team. He's an emotional leader. Um, he's not afraid to step out of his shell and say things, especially when coaches aren't around. And kids respect him, and they respect the way he played. Look at the Notre Dame game, the way he plays out for us. Texas A&M game, he closed a lot of games out, grinding out first downs. But he's going to bring somebody, he can pass pro, he can run great routes, and he's one of the best we've ever had at free releasing out of the backfield, which is what everybody wants to do now is get five guys out in the pattern. But he can also line up back there and get you the tough short yards. Coach, a lot of these guys, all these guys we're talking about, whether it be Fromm, Thomas, Isaiah, all these, all these guys, Swift, that was a part of your first recruiting class for Georgia. What do these guys mean to the program, and what has it been like for you to see those guys come through? That's your first full recruiting class and watch these guys get drafted and more to come tonight, obviously. Man, it, it was really neat, you know, to have Andrew go through all he's gone through leading up to the draft and everybody questioned, you know, whether he was the best tackle or not. And then for him to go fourth, I just thought that the picture of seeing his mom, dad, sister enjoy that moment, that, that, that's what you want. And then Isaiah as well. And it's just as painful to see a guy like Swift, who is no doubt a first-round talent, not get that opportunity. 
but you know that it's coming. And the best part, moving forward, all these guys are going to be dogs for life. I love seeing Todd Gurley and Nick Chubb and Sony and Isaiah Wynn reach out to these guys and kind of congratulate them. Well, Kirby, congratulations on have a couple of first-round picks last night. Look forward to several more dogs coming off the board in the next few rounds of the NFL Draft. Uh, thanks, for being, thanks for being with us. NFL Draft begins Thursday, April 23rd on ESPN and ABC. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.